Hello, this is Damien Rivero. This is my How We Got Through Now presentation, basing on the clean factor. What we're going to be looking at is Finland, the cleanest and greenest country in the world, question mark. So why Finland? Simple, because Finland has a reputation of being one of the cleanest countries, and as someone who was raised in, raised in the North Woods, Finnish culture has been integrated in the place I grew up, so it is only natural that I further explore the reputation of this country. So let's look at the history and geographics of Finland. Finland is roughly half the size of Texas, a quarter of its territory is in the Arctic, 78% of Finland is covered with forest, and 10% is covered with over 188,000 lakes. Finland also boasts to be one of the greenest countries on the planet. Alongside the IT and communication sectors and the metal industry, Finland's forest industry makes up 25% of Finnish exports, making it a staple for Finland's economy. Due to decades of research and strict environmental policies, Finnish forests grow quicker than they are actually logged. However, due to Finland's long history of logging, this industry has had a considerable negative in impact on the native forest ecosystem. According to the World Wildlife Fund, approximately 700 forest species in Finland are classified as endangered due to logging, and the WWF has said that the country's insufficiently small nature preserves and lack of old trees exacerbate this problem. In addition, in addition to affecting forest biodiversity, the Finnish logging industry has played a part in contaminating rivers and groundwater, along with fertilizer from the agricultural industry. In the 80s, sulfur and nitrogen pollutants were greater in Finland than in the majority of other European countries. So that brings us to how has Finland reversed its contamination from the logging industry to becoming one of the highest ranked, cleanest countries in the world with some of the cleanest and some would argue best tasting tap water in the world. So first, let's look at the EPI, or the Environmental Performance Index, and what it is. The EPI takes careful measurement of environmental trends and progress, and it provides a foundation for effective policy making. As of 2018, the EPI ranks 180 countries on 24 performance indicators across 10 issue categories covering environmental health and ecosystem vitality. These metrics provide a gauge at a national scale of how close countries are to establish environmental policy goals. The EPI reveals a tension between two fundamental dimensions of sustainable development, the environmental health, which rises with economic growth and prosperity, and the ecosystem vitality, which comes under strain from industrialization and urbanization. Good, government, good governance emerges as a critical factor required to balance these two dimensions of sustainability. According to the 2018 EPI results, Finland is ranked 10th overall in the world and ranked number one for environmental health. So let's take a look at some of the environmental policies of Finland. <coughs> Excuse me. Finland has embraced many progressive environmental protection and sustainability policies over the last few decades. Back in 1983, Finland created the Ministry of Environment to set up departments focused on specific aspects of conversation and nature policy. Back then it did not work though until they came up with more stringent environmental policies bringing us to clean tech. Clean tech is one of the focal points of Finland's industry, excuse me, industrial policy and Finland is, Finland is one of the leaders in the field of clean tech globally. Traditionally, the metals and pulp and paper industries have been the two major investors in environmental technology. The primary technology investments for these industries have been air pollution and water protection technologies. In recent years, the Finnish environmental technology and services sector has evolved into a dynamic area where production of new innovative technologies and services has expanded and also gained international prominence as Finnish clean tech solutions. Excuse me. As of 2013, the Finnish government adopted a resolution considering the promotion of new and sustainable, sustainable environmental and energy solutions in public procurement. The objective is for the public sector to procure new clean tech solutions with at least $300 million a year. This compares to approximately 1% of total public procurement expenditure and would double current public research, development, and innovative spending on clean tech solutions. Uh, these include waste management, electricity, property development, transport, energy related products, services for which eco label criteria have been established, as well as food and catering. In Finland, the necessity for utilizing the best available technology is included in the Water Act, the Air Pollution Control Act, the Waste Act, and the Sea Protection Act. In addition, the producer responsibility principle in waste management has increased reuse and recycling, which offers new business opportunities. As of now, it is estimated that there are about 3,000 environmental technology companies in Finland, 
operating in different segments of the market, including clean tech, the number of companies operating in the more traditional segments of environmental technology, such as waste management and recycling and handling, is close to 800. So let's look at some of the leading subsectors. First, we have waste management. Uh, they utilize equipment to improve waste management processes, in particular closed systems for lumber companies for the prevention of phosphorus discharges. Yet the municipal waste recycling and recovery, which uses new technical advances for the entire recycling logistic chain, including sensors, separators, monitoring, optic handling device for metal recycling, crushers, and bio-waste separation equipment. You have the air and water pollution sector, uh, which monitors, measures, and samples instruments, or uses sample instruments for detection of air and water pollution. You have the small particle and dust reduction equipment, uh, utilizes products such as dynamic and electrostatic precipitators, fabric filters, and centrifugal fans and blowers. And then you have the environmental geotechnics, which is a new process and product innovations for contaminated soil remediation. Clean technology in Finland is largely focused on energy efficiency solutions for business as opposed to flashy consumer products. These solutions include using biomass as a renewable energy source and efficient waste management. In addition to large commercial clean technology companies like Cone and Nest Oil, Finland has a thriving startup culture featuring a clean technology incubator in downtown Helsinki. So some of the key findings. The strong record of conservation issues, Finland falls in the top ranks internationally, rank 6, with respect to environmental policies. Finland has been focused strongly on water pollution, curbing industrial emissions, and cleaning polluted waterways. Forest protection has also been top priority. Finland faces specific environmental challenges in terms of climate change and population growth, yet the country's contribution to larger efforts in combating climate change have been quite, done quite well. Uh, as of 2014, the EPI ranked uh, Finland 18th, and by 2018, they're actually ranked top in the Environmental Performance Index, ahead of Iceland, Sweden, and Denmark. Water pollution is a large issue in Finland. Uh, it remains an issue. While polluted emissions from large industrial facilities have been to a large extent successfully curbed and polluted lakes and rivers have been cleaned, waterborne nutrient emissions generated by farms remains a pressing problem. According to calculations, some 1,500 lakes are in need of more active restoration measures to combat the pollution. Uh, Finland's most valuable natural resource is its forest, and its managing, management is vital of importance for sustainable economic development. The overall annual rate growth of trees still exceeds the total timber harvest, uh, which is a result of institutionalized protection acts. The vegetation of Finnish Lapland is especially sensitive to disturbances such as logging and overgrazing by domestic reindeer. Fortunately, they have been able to reduce the threats through the protection of large areas of forest and restricting the number of reindeer. Um, increasing tourism in Lapland can likewise burden the environment, but it also encourages environmental protection since most tourists are attracted to Lap Lapland by the region's unspoiled natural settings. Uh, Finland can also boast the cleanest air. Uh, it is proven that the world's cleanest respiratory air is in Munio, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct, which is in western Lapland. Uh, there is 4 micrograms of particles under 10 micrometers in a cubic meter. While looking at the world's dirtiest city, uh, city Nigeria, there is almost 600 micrograms. According to the WHO recommendations, the annual average of PM10 particles should be a maximum of 20 micrograms per cubic meter. And according to the WHO statistics, the levels fall below that everywhere in Finland, even in the big cities. According to the WHO, there was an average of 12 micrograms per cubic meter, including in Finnish urban areas in 2011. If you were to actually compare that to India, India would have 134. Only a tenth of European urban population can enjoy air as clean as Finland's. Additional reasons. For these reasons, it's clear to see why the EPI has picked Finland is the top cleanest country overall. The environment makes it an ideal place to reside, not only for one person's health, but also as a land that can sustain environmental protection, making it a stable place to thrive. Thank you for watching. Here are my references. Have a great day.